This is MikeBot. Today's video will be on the Anycubic Wash & Cure Max Station. I previously did an unboxing on the Wash & Cure 3.0 Plus and the M5S Pro. Well, the Wash & Cure Plus is now gone. It fell apart right after several uses and it has been returned back to the Amazon Center, unfortunately. So here we are with the Wash & Cure Max. I purchased the Wash & Cure Max directly from Anycubic for $400 Canadian all-in. That's an incredible price. I think they go for about $650 on Amazon plus taxes, so $400 Canadian all-in is a deal of a deal basically. So the Wash & Cure Max is very expensive, but you're essentially getting a mini washing machine with UV lights, so I guess the price is kind of justified. The Wash & Cure Max is a beast. This thing is big and heavy. When I say beast, I mean literally a beast. Like this thing is huge. When I say mini washing machine, I'm not joking. Look at the size of the box. So the Washing Cure Max can hold up to 14.9 liters. The big tub in this thing has a maximum cleaning size of 11.8 inch by 6.5 inch by 11.8 inch which is basically 300 millimeters by 165 millimeters by 300 millimeters. It can support every resin printer on the market today, even the Max with Anycubic. So this thing is future proof essentially. This uh, Anycubic Max also has something called a dual cleaning mode. So with this function, it does something called spray rinsing and detail dipping, which supposedly ensures efficiency and a thorough cleaning of the 3D prints. I think they should put a drying station or something inside this because I've already used it a couple times and the tub stays wet while it's doing the UV curing. So very strange, but anyway. So apparently the spray cleaning is supposed to eliminate all the residual resin on the surface of your models. And it does that with the mechanical jets. It's also supposed to do the dip rinsing, which I don't really know what that means. It could be just a fancy term of spraying the models or misting them and spinning around and high speed and misting it more. I don't know. So this new method is supposed to remove all the resin, including the details under the nooks and crannies, the underside, and it's supposed to do it all in one pass. So they also claim that you only need four liters of detergent. So they keep using the word detergent in the manual. I think detergent is IPA, the isopropyl alcohol. So I filled the isopropyl alcohol bin up with four liters, took literally four and a half liters of alcohol. So with this method, it's supposed to, uh, I guess, prepare it and recycle it so you don't have to touch any of the iso. Uh, with that new method, it's supposed to use 50% less IPA compared to the other washing cure stations. Now, sure enough, I have used a lot less IPA. With the other washing cure, I dumped 12 liters of IPA and it didn't even fill the bin and it washed the station. And after two or three um, washing cycles, the models were basically dirtied the alcohol and the alcohol couldn't be filtered and it was garbage. So with this, I've done three or four models already and I barely used any of the four liters of alcohol. So as you see me in the unboxing, there's two different bins. There's a bin you fill with water, a bin you fill with IPA, and then a bucket which drains all the water out. So the bucket of detergent is supposed to do 20 models in total, and it's supposed to use, I think, 50 mils of alcohol per cycle. So it really is efficient, and that alone is gonna save me tons and tons and tons of money on IPA, which justifies the cost difference for this thing. Now, the functionality with this is very limited. It only has three buttons, I think four buttons if you include the cancel. You have the one click wash and cure, which basically cleans and cures everything in 15 and a half minutes. You can't even adjust the time from what I've seen so far. It's been scientifically set up at the factory according to the manual, but I don't know. It, if it works, it works, right? So the, there's an auto button, you just start, it washes everything and cures it 15 minutes later, pick up your model, dry it off and you're good to go. So with this thing, it has a basket in the middle, which rotates at 360 degrees automatically. So this here is like the magic in the entire system. It allows the spray misting to cover everything while it's turning. It uh, dries everything by spinning at high speed and then it cures everything by spinning. So I think all the magic comes into that 360 dimensional basket of theirs. 
but apparently it efficiently cures everything. Now, from what I've seen, um, sometimes you need to cure it a little bit more. So that's why I think there's that cure button there, which allows you to add and subtract time. So the curing button is kind of um, needed for some models. Setting this thing up is really, really easy. It looks complicated because of all the hoses and everything, but literally everything is labeled. It's simple. So you basically put the basket in the middle of the tub. You connect the tubes uh, with the label. So tube one goes into port one, tube two goes into port two, and so on. You undo the folding bin, you connect the drain hose into the back of the machine and put it into the bin. Which is basically, I guess I should say it's the clear hose. And so the clear hose is the drain hose, then you have the other super thick hoses, which go into port one, two, and three. So once the clear drain hose is in the, uh, the foldable bucket, you also have one tube that goes in for the water and two tubes for the IPA. The IPA bucket takes four liters of IPA. And for the water bin, I use just cold, simple, unfiltered water. And that's pretty much it for the setup. You're ready to go. I actually cut the tubes uh, for the water because they were too long. I kept getting an error because it wasn't sucking the water out. And that was because the tube was too long. Cutting that tube was a pain in the ass. I, I used um, PEX pipe cutters. It didn't do it. So I had to use bolt cutters to cut it. So the options with this station are very limited. So you have the auto clean the wash which does the wash and cure cycle in under 16 minutes you have the cure button with the ability to add or subtract minutes and then you have the cancel button that's it now there are some errors you will get with this machine i've already experienced some of the errors already so the most common ones i've seen are e11 e12 and e20 e11 basically means your water bucket is empty or the tube is not inserted correctly so in my case the tube was too long so i cut it error was fixed then you have E12, which means the water or detergent bucket is blocked. So if you're if it's draining or sucking IPA or water or draining the water out and it's not doing it, that means the tube's not inserted or something is blocking it and you have to troubleshoot. Very easy to fix. So it's just a blockage essentially. And then E20 is the easiest one. You left the top cover open. They don't like that top cover being open. And it's for safety reasons, obviously, UV light, IPA spraying and all that, right? I will make another video on how the wash and cure station functions. So stay tuned for that future video. But anyway, so that's basically it for this wash and cure station max. Setup is easy. It's four tubes, clear tube, three PEX pipes, two buckets. One takes the IPA, one takes cold water. Everything is labeled and then you have the foldable bin. Now I also picked up a pickle bucket uh, so I can drain the water from the other bin into it. You don't need to do that, but the pickle bucket for me is just an extra step and makes everything easier to work with. But otherwise that's basically it. So that's the unboxing and um, that's the quick setup. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see some cool behind the scenes videos and really cool stuff that I can't do on YouTube, make sure to check out my Patreon page. That's all for now. Thank you all for watching. MikeBot out. Thank you for watching my pot entertain me.